Welcome Thank back. You. Appreciate Thank it. Man, so, you got that drip on it. He's Dang. got it. Yep. I'm really <laughs> impressed by the look. Okay, how did it happen with LeBron to work with him on the album? Uh, it was a crazy idea that I had. Uh, the name of my album, being rapper, go to the league, was something that I was trying to use to actually get the attention of the youth. And it, it, it's an oxymoron that actually means, you know, the opposite. That I want to try to get the youth to understand they can do more than just sing or have a jump shot. And so mm. when I saw LeBron come out with his more than an athlete campaign, mm. Mm. it aligned straight up with what I was trying to do. I text him some crazy message like, "Hey, man, I think this could work for both of us. Mm. This would look good on your resume." It also helped me out a lot, and he came through for me, so mm. I appreciate it. And how much did he come through? How much did he actually contribute? Well, well, for me, um, LeBron's presence was was over enough for me. And um, this whole uh, situation with my last album, I over-recorded on purpose. I knew I had a concept. I knew I had uh, ideas that I wanted to go with, but I wanted to keep it narrowed down. I didn't want to make a lengthy project. I wanted to be under an hour, and I had so many songs to choose from. So it was cool for me to have outside ears that were in the studio helping me narrow down some of that stuff. And, and he, he did that? Yeah, yeah, he was there for me for that. Well, yeah. How many sessions would he come to? Would we, we did... Uh, we did over two sessions together. I mean, I think the guy, I think what people see now is the, like the, maybe the last session we did mm. when it was crunch time, time to go to mixing and mastering. But the whole process was really cool to mm. have him hear some of my early records before the, the whole world mm. did. Mm. So when you make this decision that, okay, you say LeBron is helping you, it's a different, <clears throat> to have a different ear. But at the end of the day, if there's something that you felt comfortable with, with maybe he's like, mm, I, I don't know, change if this is going to work? Mm -hmm. Or do, do you always take final say? No, no, yeah, I have the final say over right. everything. Because yeah, obviously I'm the musician. Right. But I'm, I'm just respecting his ear because of what he does for the culture. It's right. organic. Right. You know, every week he's in the back of his car listening to the latest hip hop, right. whatever drops. He supports the culture. And to have this biggest platform, he doesn't have to do that. You know, right. he tags artists. He just gives us a sense of hope whether an artist says it or not. It's so cool to have, like, LeBron playing your music. Right. So I thought it was a great idea to include him on, on this rapper go to the lead project. You and I have talked about this before, but now it, it comes to fruition even more. You were a pretty good basketball player, especially in high school. Is that fair to say? I got, I got a nice jump shot. Got a jump shot. <laughs> got a nice jump shot. Skip. That thing wet? Got a nice, that thing wet, man. <laughs> that thing wet. <laughs> and, and yet, it, it, it always strikes me that here comes a LeBron and, and he would love to be you, and you, there's a part of you that would love to be him, yeah. right? Yeah, that's it, that's that's the sports entertain. That's it, entertainment. It period. It I think is. we enjoy each other's lane. You know, yes. we live vicariously through each other. Like when they're on the court or on the field, they have these headphones on and they're getting hyped up. And then, like anytime we're in a studio, every studio has a basketball goal. You know, we, we're gambling on shots. We're doing uh -huh. because, like, a lot of us have that that history of growing up playing, you know, uh, rec ball or playing. Mm -hmm. Some of us even had high school experience. So now it's about, like, who who had the, the better past, like, who had the better childhood. Like, mm -hmm. some kids have been um, obviously doing music their whole life, so we can tell, like, like the lack of sports, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But then you, you got these people that were like myself. I played basketball since seven years old for, my, for MLK in Atlanta. Like, I've been... It's been a part of me. It's a part of my DNA. It's, like, what I love to do. And so... Uh, when you see someone like a hooper or somebody around your height or or skill set or somebody who can't shoot free throws, yeah, you start thinking like, <laughs> man, I might have a 10-day contract. You might. <laughs> but it's, it's just a dream, though. It's just a dream. It's not, it's not going to happen. Could LeBron have any future as an actual rapper? If he I, I pursued it he, later in his... I don't think he wants to be a rapper. I don't okay. think he wants to be a rapper. That's... I think maybe deep down he, he has that dream in him like you have that dream in you, well, right? Maybe. I would love to catch a little alley-oop off the glass. You yeah, know? that's what I'm saying. You still, do, you still put it down like that, Shane? I, I, it got to be a oop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ain't, take, you ain't taking the ball up with no, you. No, no, somebody going to throw it. I could probably tap it in a little bit. But yeah. you know, those days are diminishing every day. Yeah. So what do you see from LeBron Post basketball, what 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 frontiers might he blaze trails in? Where where do you see him going? Well, Skip, you know I can't speak for the man. No, you know I can't speak yeah. for the man. I'm not. I mean, you know, for me, I'm a I'm still a huge Lakers fan, so I don't even want to think about okay. post yeah. that. I'm I just we need to figure this playoffs out and moving okay. forward. What right. we gonna do in the off season? Chain, you That's you 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 rap, but 
Obviously, LeBron has made it abundantly clear he wants to own an NBA team. He does. That's what's up. Do you want to own a record label? Is that where you're headed? Uh, movies? I mean, where do you see yourself transitioning? Well, that, well, that's another thing about LeBron, right? He, he installs this hope. He installs this hope in a lot of us. Like, that was, that was thinking big, right. you know, like to come out and say that, to think big and have a straight face. It right. like, it like, you know, I never thought about owning a record company. I have my own record company, but not like the big boy. Right. Big boy thing, Not but like, RCA yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. But like when you hear it from LeBron, he, he makes it, it makes you feel like it's attainable. This right. can happen. Somebody got to own it, you know. So that's a good message that he putting out. You were talking about um, you and me uh, in the shop, and you were talking about the, how much is enough. Uh, your family, I think it was Meek Mill was talking yeah. about. Do you take care of your homeboy? You take care of your aunt? You take care of your mom? Right. Blah blah blah. How much is enough? I mean, I'm sure you go through it's that. It's hard. Because, it's hard, bro. Because how do you say no? It's hard. You can't say, like, the, the, <laughs> you say yes, right, so many times. The time you say no, they forget about all the yeses. Right. Um, it, it, you changed. Yeah, no, it it literally weighs on the person because we know that you know that we financially have it. But to sit back and say, anytime something happens, then I'll just call this person. Um, it takes a toll on the relationship. I don't care who the person is. It just takes a toll on it. Um, some days you feel like saying yes, whatever you want. And some days you want to be like, man, I think you can handle that yourself. And so for me, I'm an only child, but I have, you know, you know uncles. 200 uncles, 200, <laughs> aunts, 200 cousins. At, at least that's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. And people really come to me with, you know, maybe, I, I don't know. I hadn't changed my number in a very long time. So Might need to, huh? Yeah, or maybe not, you know, because mm -hmm. the whole thing with me is I know I'm blessed and I have right. to figure out a way to bless others, you right. know, but I don't want to bless others to the point where I need help again, you know? Right. So it's a it's, it's just trying to, you know, figure it out. It's very hard for me. Like somebody like me who takes care of his whole entire family. I just told y'all off the air what I did from, you know, yeah. I bought my wife a business, you know, like, and I, I try to install that into an entrepreneurship, even with my kids, my whole family. But some people feel like they don't want to work. They just need someone to do this, and it takes a toll on the relationship. You just mentioned you're a Laker fan. Just It was hard for us to watch what happened last night. Now they're sort of on life support, playoff support. That's okay. Yeah. That's all right. Gut, gut feeling, what is missing right now to you? AD. <laughs> no, wait, That's, uh, that'll work. That's a good answer, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. It's a great answer. Why y'all keep playing with us like that out there, man? We were supposed to get Chris Paul one year. They, I think, yeah, well, I think was Stern still in yeah, when that yeah. happened? Yeah. 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 And then, Remember, the league owned the, what were they, the New Orleans Hornets? The Hornets. Oh, yeah. The league yeah. owned them. That was, the, oh, yeah. Interesting. That was, that was interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's something going on out there. Was Magic with him then? No. No. Okay, I'm trying to trying to, I'm just trying to find the, the You're trying to connect the yeah, I'm to trying see what's to, going on. We'll have to do that off the app. But for the most part, you know, like I'm um I'm from Atlanta. I'm obviously a Hawks fan because I'm from Atlanta, but like my father was this passionate Lakers fan, right? This magic, this whole thing, like back in the days. I'm yep. talking about Worthy Cooper, the whole nine. He was like really into it. And so I picked up on the same thing, and then I became this huge Kobe fan, right? Like, why not love the Lakers? And then, like, when Kobe left, I still love the Lakers. And then they got Braun. So then, you know, I'm not going anywhere. You know, <laughs> we're going to have to figure it out. Were you shocked the AD trade didn't go through? I, I definitely was. Yeah. They gave their whole uh, roster away uh, or tried to. And it, and it, and it kind of like, man, it... To me, it, it has a little, it has a small effect on what we're seeing with the Lakers right now, right? Like some of the kids, like hearing in, in the media, like you might not, you know, be here. Like I don't think people understand now. Some of the people that they were talking about, they don't have families and kids and stuff like that, but they still have to like get up, figure out the next, you know. I do. With sports, is kind of tricky. You have to find a place to stay. Mm -hmm. there, uh, if you do have a relationship, it can hinder it. I mean, if you do have kids, it can hinder it. This is a business, so I get it. But then you like you put in the news, we're gonna give you this whole, the whole everybody. But Jay, you gotta let me. Okay, I put it to you like this. I, you, we can you can understand this. You in a group. You the you the you the lead guy. Okay, I'm, the, bro, I'm the big dog. You the big dog. Okay. And a couple, and you like, okay, well, we thinking about because you ain't really holding up your end. I think we can get a couple of Grammys. We might get some Oscar nominations uh -huh. if we replace the bass player and the guy that's doing get, the hook on you. this one. And we go in a different, but all of a sudden the guy don't come through. He don't, you know, mm -hmm. you can't get the guy that you really want to sing the hook, and the bass player don't mm -hmm. come, and y'all got to stick together. He still got to do his job. I, but I think the fact that y'all was. 
talking about the person out loud, they feelings got involved. You can't leave them checks still coming. No, them checks still coming. Exactly then. But you start thinking that you're disposable at any given time, right? You are. You the only one in the group that's not disposable. But, 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 so he has to come in, and I just talked to Steve about this. He has to come in and use the word, I guess, we more often. So yeah. everybody feel like they're, part of, they're it. part of it. You know, you can't right. be like, man, you're going to be all right. You're like, we're going to figure this out, right? You got to play the psychology game with right. them. And like, because at the end of the day, like, these guys are like, Ingram, you can't, you tell me I traded me. Um, Kuzmo's playing, playing awesome. You know, like, then you want me to come out, like, the trade don't go through. Then you want me to play, like, the first six games after that, I'm saying, Man, y'all in anyway, I ain't messing with y'all anyway. That's just that's just the spirit. But Skip and I talked about it, is that looking at LeBron from a distance, you have an idea of what he's like. Yeah. Now he's there. You're playing with him. Yeah. And you like, man, Bron cutthroat, man, Bron ain't but, <laughs> man, Bron trying to buy this business of winning with or without us. And if we can't get it done, he's quick to pull somebody else in here. So it changes your perspective of how you see Bron. Because you see him one way, but now once we get there, you know, I'm sure people are like, man, Chain, man, it'd be cool to work with Chain. Mm. But then you have them long sessions. Yeah. They're like, man, Chain's a mofo, man. Yeah, I yeah. can't bear. I can't wait yeah, to get up yeah. out of this studio. Well, that's that's the thing. I mean, we know he's a champion. We know he has, he's a perfect example of God-given talent and work ethic combined. We've right. seen, you know, we've seen his trajectory. We've seen him sports illustrated cover all the way up to here. We've seen how he is on and off the court. I mean, we we this shouldn't be like a surprise to anybody. I don't understand. He, do, he does it everywhere he goes. The guy wants to win. To think that he does not want to be in the playoffs this year is crazy. Mm. Yeah, the skip. It's skip crazy. talking about he came to LA just to be who he wanted to be. He, he didn't want to, he didn't want to pass <laughs> Michael Jordan. He wanted to pass Michael B. Jordan. He was in Hollywood <laughs> right man. now. Dude, that's a funny line. No, I <laughs> like that line. You ain't right, man. You ain't right, man. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. No. Okay, so if he gets AD next year, does that change in life in L.A.? Is that enough? Well, that's 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 good. It's, it's a lot of free agents out there now. Y'all don't don't get the smoke and mirror. Don't get don't act. Don't. Oh, we got some brewing change. Mm. Don't, we got some. We got some. Don't think that <laughs> y'all don't go for this. Don't nobody want to play in LA. Don't nobody. <laughs> don't, don't go get, for that. Don't, don't go for that. Don't go for that. And, and if we happen to not make the playoffs, it won't happen again for mm. the next 20, 30 years. Shannon's heard oh. some whispers here today. Yeah, I ain't got, heard. I ain't heard nothing. We got a couple. We got a couple. I we got know, some know that group. don't nobody over there like losing. Mm-hmm. Like nobody that's sure. participating in this mm-hmm. right now. Like losing. We put it like this: if we got something brewing, and I ain't talking about a pot of coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> we, we got something. Change. We got something. That boy crazy. Mm. <laughs> that boy is crazy. So, so how many more years do you see LeBron playing at this level? Like where, where he's all in. I think we all know how much he invests into his body. This mm-hmm. is my first time this year ever seeing him injured, ever. This groin injury. It was a groin injury, not even a hamstring, no knee, no ankle. Right. This is our first time seeing him outstretch himself or whatever. You know what I mean? We, yeah. we, so he has some type of regiment to where he, he, he I, I, you know, I've been around a guy who eats, you know, healthy all day long. He, he's not just like um, somebody that's seasonal. I think he practices this stuff mm-hmm. annually all year round, you know. And so when you have somebody that committed, like I told you, with this God-given talent mm-hmm. and the work ethic and knowing what it takes inside and out, I don't think we would see a decline because they tried this up until this injury. He was playing like the best he's ever played, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So... I feel real good about it. I mean, he's playing bad right now. He just averaged 27, 8, and 8. Yeah, that's, ter- that's, ter- that's, that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. That's horrible. Those are fall-out-of-bed numbers for LeBron James. Yeah, well, right? Guess what? He's going to be falling out of bed for another four years. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm.